Stop scrolling. Did you know humans can actually develop green blood? In October 2005, surgeons operating on a 42-year-old man in Canada were shocked when they attempted to insert an arterial catheter and saw dark, greenish-black blood flowing through his arteries. The medical team was stunned, immediately comparing the discolored blood to Star Trek's Mr. Spock. But this was very real. The diagnosis was sulfhemoglobinemia, an extremely rare condition where a person develops green blood. This condition occurs when a sulfur atom gets incorporated into the oxygen-carrying hemoglobin protein in the blood. It permanently changes the blood color and significantly impairs oxygen transport. In this patient, doctors linked the condition to his arguably excessive use of the migraine drug sumatriptan. Sumatriptan contains a sulfonamide group, which is known to potentially cause this formation. After stopping the medication, the patient recovered uneventfully. Sulfhemoglobinemia generally resolves naturally as new red blood cells replace the affected ones. Five weeks after his last dose, he had no sulfhemoglobin in his blood. Dicehemoglobinemias should be considered as possible causes of cyanosis. Medicine truly is stranger than science fiction. Hit follow for more mind-blowing medical mysteries.